Our summer is really sizzling. The planet just sweated through its hottest June ever recorded, and ocean temperatures broke records too. But what about Minnesota lakes? Are they warming too? Good question. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows the impact of our changing climate. In Minnesota. You can't get away from lakes in Minnesota. Summer and swimming go hand in hand. We only have 10,000 plus. Right, right. And they count the puddles too. Does Daisy like the lakes? Daisy loves the lakes. What's the best part about going to the lake? Um, probably swimming with family. It's very cold for her on these hot days. <laughs> Worth Lake Beach is the perfect place to cool off. I really like that we have so many lakes here, so it makes me happy. But elsewhere, the water isn't quite as refreshing. This scorching heat wave is leading to record temperatures in our coastal waters. Sea temperatures around Florida broke a record earlier this month, climbing close to 97 degrees. Disturbing, yes. Jay Austin is a professor and researcher at Large Lakes Observatory. Are Minnesota lakes warming? It certainly appears, given the data that NPCA has collected, that yeah, there are distinct and significant trends um, across the state. State data shows average July-August surface water temperatures are three to four degrees warmer now than 50 years ago. How's the water feel today? Uh, I mean, it feels pretty good. I feel like the water conditions, it's, it, it's getting warmer and warmer every year. Lake Superior is sort of famous for um, remaining cold, um, even, even in a nice summer. But even large lakes, like Lake Superior, are seeing the effects of climate change. We observe temperatures on the order, summer temperatures, I should say, on the order of four to five degrees warmer now than they were 30 or 40 years ago. And so the changes are really significant. Lake warming is causing more toxic blue algae blooms, a fish population shift, species decline, a shortened lake ice season, and poor ice quality. I feel like the algae is, is kind of getting out of control. I feel like it plays a part in the water to the color, the discoloration in it. Earth just had its hottest June on record. And with air temperature being the top influence on lake temperature, Austin says to expect more changes ahead. I do expect that we will continue to move into a phase where we have less and less lake ice um, and longer and longer summers. People need to keep going outside while we can because like you're saying, it's getting hotter and the air quality too has been weird. So Kirsten Mitchell, uh, it's very important. I think we need to keep doing this. WCCO News. On average, the state has lost 10 to 14 days of lake ice over the past 50 years. Some lakes have lost almost three weeks.